What's up, YouTube? It's Matt Wick here. Uh, today I'm just going to show you all my add-ons, plugins, and scripts for my browsers, which will make my surfing on the internet way easier. So I'm basically for my browser, I'm using Firefox most of the time, stainless for when I'm playing games at the same times because it's very low in CPU. Uh, well, it's very you don't need any power to run it almost, and Safari do, do not use it that much. So this is basically for mostly Firefox users. Um, so yeah. Um, so here we go for my Firefox add-ons plugins and everything. Uh, so I'm gonna start with my add-ons here. Um, so first off, the themes. Uh, th my themes I always use the same. iFox Smooth. Always have used this one for years. That's simple, and I love the simple and not too big buttons. I don't like big buttons, and I also like when it's bright like this. That's everything is clear and simple. Uh, and add them with some buttons, but I don't use that that much. So then for the add-ons, I uh, basically have one password, which is basically for my passwords if I want to log in somewhere. So let's say I've got my forum here. So this is my forum. You can go check it out. Uh, and here, I, uh, let's say I don't have my username and password. I forgot that, but I only know one password. Basically, here uh, it will automatically insert username and password for you and log in. So that's super easy. Um, so that's for the first add on my passwords. Uh, sorry about that. Um, so yeah, one password ad blocker blocks ads. Ad block plus never use it because it sucks. I think uh, not very handy honestly. So that's why I got it disabled. Clear private uh, private data does what it says. Cookie killer. Uh, when you have a lot of cookies and you're going on some website, it might load uh, quite slow. So that's why I've got cookie killer. Uh, and then I can remove all the cookies and it works a bit better. Uh, cool iris, so basically that's for watching pictures and all that stuff. So basically it's this button here. And then you've got this search thing for Google Images, Flickr, Bling, um, Picasa, DeviantArt, Hulu, and YouTube. Some other stuff. So for example, you want to go on YouTube and search me, of course. Because I'm like your whole life. I'm just joking. Um, so basically you have your, all the videos here in like a 3D wall style thing. Like, yeah, that's cool. And you can zoom in, zoom out, and you can click, of course, on the video to watch them. And you can put this all in full screen for the full ultimate experience. So um, then for the next one, delicious bookmarks. That's for my bookmarks. I can basically access all my bookmarks anywhere, PC, Mac work, school, whatever. Uh, download status bar, that's when you want to download something. Mm. Uh, let me give you an example. So let's go on the Apple uh, website. By the way, the new iMac is totally so basically awesome. I'm on the Apple website, I'm going to download something like Health Nut 1. I have no idea what that is. But I basically want to download it, so I click on the download, it's going to pop up here. And I'm downloading, downloading it, and here it shows me uh, how big it is uh, the speed, where it saves it, and time it took to make it, and estimated time. And you can see the loading bar here. Basically, now it's finished, but you can see the loading bar there uh, for the download thing. So then, for the next one, fast as fox, quite handy. Makes your Firefox a bit easier uh, while browsing, and you can do some Google stuff, like you can select stuff and then directly search them onto Google. Fire gestures is for like. Uh, back like this and then forward like this and then when you have a link uh, put in new tab or these kind of stuff you use very regularly and it's totally customizable flash block to add flash stuff uh, I mean block flash stuff because uh, flash is quite CPU intensive fox tab for watching all your tabs in 3d so basically you have this super duper view and you can change the angles and you can even change the view like cover flow style or like safari wall style basically all copied no, I'm just joking. and here you can woohoo scroll around turn around whoa let's do the twist anyway uh, and then yeah all that in full screen as well oops little glitch there uh, so for the next add-ons uh, Google gears these are just the standard Google stuff Google redesigned I'll get back to that in a second uh, Grease Monkey for all my user scripts, so I'll get to the user scripts in a second as well. Views Toolbar, I never use it actually. Um, don't even knew I had it. Basically, I do have views, which I do use all the time. 
but I didn't know I had the toolbar. Uh, Illuminix, I don't use it anymore. Media Player, don't use it. Persona has a lot of people have that. I think it's not very useful. Skip screen is when you have like Rapid Share Amiga upload uh, page and basically skips the 60 seconds. You have to wait for nothing. Uh, WordPress for all your WordPress blogs um, and all that stuff. If you use WordPress and Yono is for all your social network stuff. So basically you have, uh, oh damn. So I just messed it, this all up, uh, but basically uh, I just did this. Uh, I didn't do this on purpose. Oh yeah, there you go. I think I got it. So here basically you have your all f Facebook, Twitter, Flickr, Google Talk, and MSN. Or you can add some other stuff, of course. And you can also like search. Uh, you can put your mail and all that kind of stuff, Google stuff, and yeah. So uh basically that's for quite handy for all social networking and you can um uh instant talk right off the thing off the add-on. Uh so that's for the last add-on. Then for my plugins I'm gonna go very quick through them. Beacon plugin, that's for my banking stuff. Uh cool iris again, that's stuff that's embedded in a tab because normally it's in full screen. Uh default plugin no idea what that is. Divix player, uh, flip for Mac, Google Talk, instant action, no idea what that is, iPhoto cast, iPhoto photo cast, uh, Java embedded player, and as well the MRG plugin version, uh, QuickTime plugin, Shockwave player, or Shockwave flash, uh, basically flash player, uh, Shockwave and Silverlight Microsoft for Microsoft Unity player. Got also some other page, GW player, something like that. Uh, themes, I already did that. So basically, iFox Smooth again and those little buttons. Uh, so yeah, that's the shit. iFox Smooth. Uh, then for the user scripts, so user scripts, I'm just gonna refresh this page because this thing is weird. Uh, so you need this little add on, which I said, Grease Monkey. Uh, so I'm just gonna show you all the user scripts I got here. So I've got YouTube Auto Buffer. Uh, an auto HD and remove ads. So obviously, if you go on whatever uh, video here, so uh, you got home video channels, and then here auto buffer options. Here it says auto play off and auto buffer on. Basically, it's gonna wait till the whole video is loaded before you actually start watching it. Auto HD, which I've got on for, automatically goes into HD. Hide in video ads. Uh, now the in video ads are not always there, uh, only in the small player I think. Uh, but before that was really handy to remove the in video ads. You probably know them, those stupid things popping up from the bottom. Uh, so that's for that. And then Gmail plus Google Reader, basically that uh, puts Google Reader inside your Gmail. Uh, then Google Image Relinker. So that's for when you're going on Google Images, uh, of course, and you're searching for a dog. For example, which you do every day. Uh, uh, normally, you click on one, and then you have to go through a website and click here again. Whoa! Click here again, and um, to actually see it in full size. Well, basically, here it automatically goes boom, and, you, and it goes right to the image. Uh, then I also have this this thing, uh, Google Image Relinker with mouse over. So basically, what that does is when you have your mouse over the image, you basically see it in and the actual resolution don't you think he's sexy uh... anyway that's really scary um, so yeah you get what i mean just the mouse over um, so google x2 so that's when you go on google uh... and then you got this little cool doc mac os 10 ish doc so yeah that's for google x2 i'll show you in a minute how to get them um, Google account multi login. So basically, here you can switch all accounts. If if I want to go to my other YouTube mail, I basically automatically go there without ent uh, entering my password. Super cool. So yep. Uh, Google ads remover. Yeah, well, obviously Google ads remover. Um, disable text ads. So those cheap websites with text ads basically it disables them. So that's for my scripts so where to get my scripts basically you go to userscripts.org and then you search them here so 
I'm going to show you Google X, for example. So again, you need to have the Grease Grease Monkey uh, enabled because if you do uh, this, uh, if you don't have it and press Install, you basically get this. And yeah, that's not what you want. So what you want to do is have Grease Monkey and enable it, and then install. And then you're gonna have pop up, and you can install the script. And you don't even need to restart your browser; it just works right away. And you can even like see the script if you're good in coding and all that stuff, which I'm not. Um, so yep, that's for the script. So you just get them all there, and you need the Grease Monkey add-on again. So yeah, that's it for all my add-ons, plugins, scripts everything so thanks for watching be sure to comment rate subscribe and yeah see you guys next time peace